not lost. I'm just a little bit misplaced. <laughs> Morning. Today I'm having a run in the Trough of Boltland. I'm testing out the Montreal FKT3s. They seem pretty grippy. I'm going up quite a steep hill at the moment. They're letting water very easily, but I'm not slipping much. So we'll see how they get on. I've not picked a very vulnerable route. Nearly at the top. Ish. I think I'm probably going to lose a shoe at some point. Very sinky. Good fun though. That takes me there, but I'm not sure. And it's just going to rain. I can't run to wall. But... <laughs> yeah, squidgy, squidgy. These are uh, Montreal FKTs. Are working well though. Yeah, I haven't fallen over once considering. I think it's freezing though, because uh, like I said, they don't drain the water, but yeah, see, I'm tripping up, but I'm not falling. <laughs> yeah, I nearly fell that time though. Right, I'm not saying anything more about falling over. Well, I'm getting closer to that road. You can see it's over there. I've still got to watch my foot in. It's all a bit slippy and steep, but uh, freezing. Need to do some running to warm up. It's raining a bit windy up here. But, uh, getting there. Hopefully, I'll be running up that mountain soon and warming up. One good thing though, these days, I know that if I go, well, like now, where uh, I've never been here before, so I don't really know where I am. <coughs> But the setting on my watch tells me the way back if I do get really lost. Which I didn't know I had on my watch for the first few months of having it. And uh, I wanted to do a 13 mile run, ended up doing a 23 mile run on one of them because I completely didn't know where I was. So at least I know now if I get completely lost, I can just set my watch to tell me the way back. Unless I run out of battery. Well, so near you get so far. The road, it's just there. But I've got to walk through some, some more of this stuff again. And I'm hoping that doesn't just uh, end. I'm hoping there's a path. Uh, 
It's not my fastest mile. Well, there's the road I'm after. So it is a bit of a drop though. I am definitely not <coughs> coming back this way. I'll go a different way around. Might have to go down on my bum. <laughs> no, I'll try and walk in for a bit longer. Come on, I can do this. I can walk down the hill. <laughs> it's only there. Uh, probably can't tell how steep it is on the camera. Uh, yeah, give you an idea. And I can't see where the floor is. Whose idea was it to come this way? <laughs> Nearly there. Did it. I'm on solid ground. Finally, some solid ground. Now I'm gonna go and run up that mountain. So nice to be running again. But, well, I thought that this road that I could see in the distance was the road that I drove in on. And it's not. So, yeah, I might have to use that function on the my watch after all. I have no idea where I am. I'm going to run up this mountain anyway because I want to get a bit more ascent. I've got a few thousand feet today. And then, uh, yeah, I might have to use that setting at some point. I know when we vanish before it gets dark. This is one steep hill. Definitely warming me up. Oh, you can't see it, it's gone around the corner. There's more to go. Well, that hill just ended here. Well, that was uh, nearly 500 feet in one go. Good, good road to train on if I had any idea where I was. Yeah, good climb that. Didn't go up again though. Figured the best save my legs because I don't know where I am. I've still got plenty of climbing to do. Going up this way. Definitely somewhere to come back to though. I can park nearby and just go up and down the thing. I'm only five miles in anyway. But we'll do a lot more than that today. found the road I'm pretty sure pretty sure I'm parked that way I suppose I better go and check if I'm not too far I'm gonna come back and do that hill it's a good hill it's only about two miles away so I'll go and have a look so 0.1 mile into running on the road to get back to my van to make sure I'm going the right way I've found this path so I'm gonna do that instead see where that leads I feel like I'm being stared at so next time I come here I know the runnable routes. And, uh, well, I found one that was good. I've been on this one for about a mile. <coughs> and I'm enjoying this so far. So if you have a look at my Strava, links on the homepage, and you can see where I went wrong. Don't go that way. It was a good warm up, but it's not very good to run. And if you do want to run, and follow this route. Don't get distracted. 
keep going this way. Two trails. Let's do the early one. And now, I'm in the woods. This is a cracking place to run. Now that I've found the right trails. Don't get me wrong, it was fun. Clambering about where nobody else was going, but I like running. That's hiking. <clears throat> this is much more fun. I've wandered off the trail again. I've got to stop doing this. <laughs> That's not going to happen, but yeah. I've ended up here. Oh, well. to hiking and we're back in the forest well I say forest it's a little very little one but there's trees so it's a forest I'm trying to find a trail there we go I think this is where I came up nope that wasn't the path only I could get turned around in the smallest forest in the world. <laughs> Not heading back down that trail again. Gonna go back to the road. Unless I see another trail cutting off. And then head back towards the van again. And if I see another trail, bugger off down it. Back on the stupid road. These trainers though, these Montreal <coughs> FK23s, they're doing really well. They're quite heavy, so I don't like running on the road in them right now. <coughs> but they're not designed for that anyway. But they're really, really, really good for off-road. The fact I never twisted an ankle where I was before. And I was trying to run at times when I wasn't filming. But it's very boggy and I didn't know where the floor was particularly. How I think it was going to be. Yeah, we fell over a couple of times, but didn't go over my ankle. I just want to find a trail before I get back to my van. Well, this isn't the kind of video I planned on making. I was just going to do my usual go somewhere, film the scenery, put some music on it. Hope people like it. But this time it's been a bit more, well, a lot more chatting to the camera. There's a squirrel. Uh, I don't know if you like this kind of video or if you prefer it the scenery way. So if you like me know in the comments, I'd appreciate that if you've made it this far in the video. Found another trail. <clears throat> Not back to the van yet. I've got Red Bull in the van. Won't mind a can of Red Bull before I carry on, but can't resist the trail. So I'm gonna see where this leads. Well, just it. 2,000 feet of ascent in eight miles. See if I can get at least three today. Very, very tempted in just running off into them hills.
But I really want to get some elevation. I want to get some running done after all that walking before. I know my look. It's a bit muddy, but that's all right. I know my look. It's going to get unrunnable again over there. So I resist the urge. Come back another day. Let's go find a vulnerable trail. Hot, oh, cold, windy, bit of water. <clears throat> Got to have a look. Yeah, as I was saying, keep getting hot and cold, windy, not windy, wet, not wet. Well, rainy, not wet. But this coat's good for that. Let's see where this leads. End of the road. Let's go back that way. Yeah, I've ended up using the setting on my Garmin to find my way back home. I wasn't 100% sure that this was the right road. And it's a good job I did because I'm still another two and a half miles away. And it's starting to go, well, not dark yet, but certainly heading that way. <clears throat> so I've got to not get distracted. I'm going up a hill. Not get distracted with any trail routes. Remember them for another day. Right now, straight road. Back to the van. Back to the red. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, look at that. I'll just have a little look. Where's the arm? I'll just look over the hill. He's going. Right, let's just have a look over here, mate. Just to the corner. Okay. Now we know. Back to the van. Got to behave. Right, this time. No more getting distracted. If the next clip isn't of me back in my van drinking a can of Red Bull, oh, it's open, it's raining, it's going dark, it's cold, I'm thirsty, I'm hungry. <clears throat> Stop getting distracted with trails. Back to the van. must stay on boring road. That one's a bit steep. Well, I'm glad. I'm not where I was at the beginning now. Weather's definitely taking a turn. Still great views though. got to be careful, I don't get run over. Lots of windy holes. Like that one. Well then. The weather might be bad, but still cracking views, look. Don't believe it. My van. Is there? I hope it's looking up here. If I'd have gone the other direction, instead of it going straight in the middle, here's the trail. It would have made a completely different video. And there's another trail. Oh, oh well. I know for next time. 
And there's a burger van back there. Forget the Red Bull, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go and have a burger in a minute, I think. I'm 13 miles in. Oh, did I bring my wallet? Yeah, I think I've got my wallet. I'll have a little look down here, then I'd back and have a burger. Oh. Well, now I know. Yeah, all that, and there's a burger van. Just there. Got myself a burger and a brew. I'm parked in that van there. Went in the wrong direction. Next time I come here, I'm gonna go that way. But, I'm gonna go and enjoy this and uh, it's been a good day out anyway. Yeah. <laughs>